you wonder why you wear big black glasses? <laughs> Unless you ripped me a new one last night. <laughs> we had several wake-ups, which killed me. But I've just uploaded um, Tuesday's vlog. So I'm leaving the office now. I'm actually gonna go and get my nails done. We've got a wedding this weekend. Uh, and I need new nails. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. Thank you so much to everybody who just had really constructive criticism on that post about uh, the Birkin. It, as I said, it wasn't just about the Birkin. It's, there's a lot more to it, especially in like, the nitty gritty bitchiness of I guess what luxury can represent because it's a lot more than that so as I said if you want me to do a sit down video I'm sure you're letting me know in the comments below on Tuesday's vlog but yeah anyway um, so yeah thank you so much for all your support on that um, post it was ridiculous it was like 400 comments it was crazy I, I didn't mean for it to be so dramatic but uh, yeah Anyway, I'm going to get my nails done now and I think we might go camera shopping. My husband's got mussy that my mother-in-law has just come back again from Dubai. She travels there a lot. My husband's li my sorry, my father-in-law's my father-in-law is living overseas at the moment as well, so she's going back and forth to him. And so she's back today and they're going to see her. So let's go get my nails done and maybe we'll go camera shopping and lens shopping. So I chose 32. My dress is um, a black sequin one that I've worn before. So I'm going to choose some dark nails. I chose this is 32 it's a shellac so heaps of people ask me what my color is but because it's shellac mm -hmm. I can't tell you exactly the brand and the number but what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a actual polish like an OPI that I use that's really similar so to this burnt raisin kind of color I use either Lincoln Park After Dark from OPI or Black Cherry Chutney so I'll link that below and my last colour I'll link below which is so similar to Barefoot in Barcelona okay hi hi I'm Gillian's daughter okay. <laughs> hi how are you Good. Hi, Lizzie. Good. How are you? Hi, darling. <laughs> that was in unison. Want to say hi to the vlog? Hi to the girls. What? Did <laughs> you say hi to the girls? Say hi, hi to, the to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, hi things. Oh, it feels pretty in here. Oh, they were my Valentine's flowers how from is, Megan. How is swimming? Oh, how is swimming? Swimming was great. Oh no, you're doing an OOTD with me. Oh really? Oh, what? Well you have to put this thing down, don't you? It looks old. Sorry, I don't mean to knock off. Oh, I've got... Oh, I was just going to say there's a plant in the way. <laughs> Good shot. I'm trying to get like cool new shots. No, no, it's not a photo. It's on. Oh, this so I can okay. actually leave this in the vlog. Why are you doing that? Okay, 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 okay. That okay. is so 2014. Straight. It's straight. Okay. Mum thinks I'm wearing such a gorgeous outfit and thinks I'm looking nice and slim in my Adidas joggers. Don't you? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that she wants me to do an OTD. Oh dear. These amazing sunglasses are my Celine Tilda. I am getting absolutely cut apart by not saying the right word. I'm saying it backwards, but they are the Tilda, Tilda. Celines. And they are big and black because we're very tired from my one and a half. Because we are big and black. Oh, oh no 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 no! Stay. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is a tight look oh. Zara t-shirt in a very nice cotton. Again, still wearing my Capucines BB from Louis Vuitton. These are my velvet tri-stripe Adidas. Originals, okay, like don't give them sickness, just <laughs> Adidas Originals, and then on my feet are my Adidas Slides, and that is my OOTD. How about the nails? Oh, and then the new nails that I just showed you in the salon. Gorgeous. Mum really beautiful likes colour. Them. Beautiful colour. Yeah. So as I just said in the salon, I will link an actual OPI nail polish because unfortunately with shellac, you can't link, like there's so many different brands of shellac and a lot of people have been asking like my last colour but I'm going to link the two colours that were in the last, this video and last video so that you can actually buy a polish instead, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Ding. Ding. Love you. Thanks. We are home. It is a nightmare in here. The boys have just left this house a nightmare. I am going to do a coffee and a wrap. Oh, shoot! You guys haven't seen a wrap for so long. That is what is happening. I need to call Shay. I'm going to call Shay back as well because so we're going to have a chat. Okay, I wanted to show you. A subby asked me, can my Nespresso do cappuccino? Absolutely, she likes cappuccino. Uh, it definitely can. So this is the actual frother inside the milk frother canister is this is the inside and it comes with this spring spiral clipped in like so one two three <laughs> clipped in like this that's how it comes um, the kit comes like that I take the spiral off because my husband and I we have lattes so we don't really need it that frothy but when I make frothy milk for mum, I put the spring back on. I just keep it in the drawer. So there it is. It's back on. So that's just placed back in the canister. And that will make much frothier milk. So it's just going to froth away. Shout out to Mary. Hi, Mary. This is my beautiful J mug from Mary. I just love my mugs from you guys. It's so great. So also with Nespresso machines, I know I have to kind of do a full review because so many people ask me about my Nespresso machine, it's crazy. These are the capsules I use and they are called Alpreggio, they're purple. And this is the um, capsule my husband prefers and it's called Kazar and it's dark blue. So they're the capsules we like to use. These are both 12 strength, so they're quite strong. We do. I do use two of them because I like them on the latte drawer, but my husband only uses one because he likes it on the espresso drawer. So uh, yeah, that's the capsules. So the most amazing thing about an espresso coffee is the creme. Like that is cafe style creme. So if you were going to have uh, a short black or an or an actual espresso shot, that is really nice creme. It's not, you know, really watery. It's just really good consistency. And it is like that every single time. Okay, so let's do this cap for you. <laughs> my, my subby was asking me about. So we'll just pour, leaving the froth behind. And then we let out froth. And then we let out all the froth. And 
And then as my mum would say, where's the chocolate? <laughs> so we would just dust some chocolate for your cap. And da da. Beautiful. So nice. Look at that. So that is an espresso cappuccino because you're adding back that frother spring that gives it that heaps frothier kind of milk. This is what Jules loves. Loves. So I've just done my wrap today with a bit of egg. Um, the, sorry, the two eggs and a little bit of cheese with it. And then I'm just going to do fresh tomato today. There we go. Beautiful. Let me just wrap it up. Ta-da! Cappuccino and wrap. Yumbo. What time is it? I'm so lazy. I'm the laziest vlogger. I don't even know how I actually get content for half these vlogs. It's impressive. You do a really good job. Like, I really don't even know. My husband goes, did you film that? And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shay's on the vlog. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let me turn my... Let me turn my brightness up so they can see you. I look so bad, but okay, it's fine. You look good. Hi. Hi, guys. Yay, it's like a, a camera. Hi. I actually just, when I first called, um, I had sat down and I was like, I, just, I was like, it was ringing and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what time is it? What time is it? Because sometimes I freak, like I'm like, no, 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 like it's, like I just called my friend the other day who was actually over in San Francisco and it was about 1 a.m., 1.30. Yeah, it's good. But you've done like bath time, bedtime. It's 9 o'clock. Is it 9.30? Yeah, 9.14? Yeah. Because so I was I like, oh, no, I called her. She's probably doing like... No. I was she's probably... And I got eyelash extensions for the first time in my life. They're so. beautiful. Dang, I mean, I went like kind of the natural route. Yeah. Because I wanted to like crazy the first time, but. No, yeah. I went, they, they turned out they're not, they're like super comfortable. I can't even feel it. Do you so know what you're going to love about them? Is it's like lazy girl's dream. You wake up and you're like, oh, I actually, like, this is complete. <laughs> like, that was another thing someone said. Like, I can't, my, my mum's colleague said, I can't believe you do videos bare faith. Like nothing, like moisturizer. Oh. I said because you know what? <laughs> I I cannot. The last thing I can think of is to do something. So so eyelash extensions. When I had them, especially when I, the last set I had when I came over to the states, they it's so awesome because you yeah. just you woke up like this. You know, you're like ding. Uh -huh. I look good. They're really good for like laziness. Like you just get up and you're like, oh, I look so yeah. done. Because I swear with a bit of mascara and a little bit of bronzer, like I, you don't have to deal yeah. with this half the time. Like <laughs> you can yeah. look somewhat alive. Yeah. But yay. Thank you so much for your message. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because the thing, the thing is, is that, um, I said in that vlog and I said on Instagram, like, look, I'm like prepared to do a sit down video about it. 
or about just in general like just all the shit because there's and you know what the other thing is is another subby wrote to me on a dm and just said like Hello, this is Jerusha. Anyhow, I'm nice having a chat with Shay about the old days in the cold. Freezing cold. <laughs> Shay's still on this on this FaceTime and my husband has walked in with Mussy asleep. Hello. And then Jules walks in behind him and she's like, she's seeing what a bus stop this house is. <laughs> Bye Shay. Hello, you. Hi Shay. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the vlog, Shay. Welcome to my life vlog. Okay, hey, are you are you coming? Are you just going to be there? No, I okay. have to go because I've got the training issue. Okay, can you take the bread car? Yeah. Okay. Um, can meeting tonight? I'm so sorry. Where? Where? Oh my god! Um, welcome to my life. Here, They're going to so have their own meeting. <laughs> the bus stop. Okay. Um. Eesh. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> my husband. This is not the nicest story, but my husband once told me a story that like this Lebanese guy um, once called up for a job position that they had vacant in, like on in advertising in the paper. And he said, oh, uh, where's your restaurant? And he goes, oh, Manly. My husband goes, oh, Manly. And he goes, Manly? Oosh! That's far away, bro. That's so far away. Because that's like how Aussie, kind of Aussie Lebanese guy. <laughs> but like muscle gym junkie Lebanese guys. That's how they talk. Nah, bro. Manly, that's so far away. Oosh! So now whenever my husband and I are like really tired or over it, we always go, oosh. <laughs> That's so funny. No hate to Lebanese. One of our best friends is Lebanese and they're amazing. Anyway, why am I telling you that? Oh my God, that's a perfect example of the type of mood I'm in where I'm just talking complete palaver. Um, I've hit a big fat wall. Mum has taken Mussy and I've got to go do some shopping and see my mother-in-law. She bought me a present back from Dubai. Yes. Wrapped in a little package. I think she gets this all from the airport when she leaves. They have just like delicious like bazaars. It brings tea back into Australia. Look at that. She brings, can we see? She brings tea back. And I literally have no idea how she does it. Let's try some for the vlog. That one looks nice. Can we see? Mmm. Delicious, would be very nice with a cup of tea. Favorite thing about Kmart? I came in for one spatula. It's exactly like Target. One spatula. Okay, seriously, biggest mistake ever. I needed to do the grocery shopping like I told you guys, so I. I can either go travel down to like where my mum lives, my mum and dad live in Mona Vale, and I can go to the big grocery store there, or I can like come out to one of the shopping malls. So I decided to come to the shopping mall. Really bad idea. Because this shopping mall has a Kmart, and I went really mad. Oh my god, I only needed one spatula. That is seriously the absolute all-time biggest story of life. Kmart, Target, and I'm assuming 
you know, lot like boots in I was the same in the UK with boots. Oh my god, like I just that was amazing. Um Ulta when I went to California. Like you just it's shit you don't need. You don't need it. IKEA, IKEA is the worst. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Bye guys!